Hello my friends. In this video we're going to be installing a program called Ventoy to a USB drive. Ventoy is a great tool to have if you're constantly writing ISOs to a USB drive to install an operating system. Ventoy will allow you to install all the ISOs to the USB drive and then you can just pick which one through a menu system which one you want to install. First thing you want to do is navigate to Ventoy.net. Then click on the downloads link. Since I'm doing this on a Windows machine, I'm going to download the Windows zip file. This will navigate you over to SourceForge.net. I'm going to select the Windows zip file. Once downloaded, navigate to your downloads folder. Next, we're going to extract the zip file. Once extracted, double click on the Ventoy folder. Search for Ventoy to disk, this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. This will open up the Ventoy user interface. On the very top, it'll ask you which device do you want to write this to. I only have one in this machine, so I'll select this one. Be careful here and make sure you select the right USB drive. Ventoy will format and overwrite anything that's on that disk, so make sure it's the right one. Next, click install. A pop-up window will pop up saying it'll be formatted and all data will be lost. Hit yes. Then a second pop-up will pop up just to make sure you're sure. Hit yes again. After it's complete, you should get a pop-up window. Click OK. Next, I'm going to navigate to my USB drive. Inside this drive, it's empty right now. This is where we're going to drop all of our ISO files. I have an ISO folder, so I'll open that up right now. I'm going to select all of these and move them over to the new Ventoy USB drive. This is going to take a little while, so the magic of video editing, I'll be right back. OK, all the files have been copied over to the USB drive. Next, we'll pull it out, put it in a machine, and boot from it. When your machine is set to boot to USB drive, this is the first screen you'll see when you have the Ventoy USB drive installed into the machine. As you can see, these are the ISOs I copied over earlier. I'm going to select Ubuntu for this demonstration. Next, it's going to ask you how it wants you to boot. I'm going to boot in normal mode. As you can see, it'll install Ubuntu for you. Let's hit install. And there we have it. You can install Ubuntu. You can even try Ubuntu. It'll run off this USB drive. Let's go ahead and do that first. And there we have it. I have a Ubuntu running off the new USB drive we just created using Ventoy. Let's go ahead and reboot this machine and get back to the menu. Now that we're back at the menu, I can select a different operating system. Say I want to install Windows 11. Just select Windows 11. It'll boot up to installing Windows just like any other machine. Okay, that's it. We've installed Vento on a USB drive with multiple ISO images on it. Now you can just select whichever ISO you want and do the install. You can always go back later, put this USB drive into another machine, and add more ISO files. You can add as many as that USB drive will hold. Hope you enjoy Vento like I do. Have a good one.